Hi, Liberty North. My name is Mrs. Peters, and one of my jobs this year is going to be um, coordinating Eagle Hour. And Eagle Hour, as of right now, according, uh, according to the calendar, is going to start on September 16th. We're waiting for the laptops um, to be deployed, and they're supposed to be deployed the week before, and then September 16th we'll start Eagle Hour. I thought it would be good to do a video just so we can make sure that we're all on the same page in understanding the purpose of Eagle Hour as well as um, some of the expectations and things that we're going to have as far as Eagle Hour is concerned. We're already getting used to the new schedule. Um, the schedule that we're using right now is going to be the same schedule that we have once Eagle Hour gets started. The only difference is going to be you will only have advisory on Mondays and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, instead of going to advisory, you'll have the Eagle Hour time where you can go to clubs or go to tutors and have lunch. Um, so that'll be the only difference. Starting on the 16th, you'll just see your advisor every Monday. Um, the other thing, uh, the Eagle Hour schedule, you will be receiving this. The teachers will get a copy, and, and I know you won't really be able to see this, but this is what it looks like. You'll be getting a copy of this, or the teachers, I'm sorry, will be getting a copy of this to post in their rooms, as well as we'll have several large copies of the Eagle Hour schedule placed in different locations around the building. And what this schedule tells you is um, the teachers, what Eagle Hour they have lunch. If they have lunch, that means that they are um, you know, working on their own or what hour they have or what side they have Eagle Hour. When they have Eagle Hour, that means that they'll be available for tutoring or clubs and so on and so forth. And then you'll see Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, exactly what those teachers are doing. And that's meant to help you to create your Eagle Hour schedule over, um, over the two-week period that you'll be uh, going through Eagle Hour. And that being said, Eagle Hour will run on a two-week rotation. So, for example, on a Monday, your advisory teachers will go through and they'll do grade checks with you, um, talk to you about your grades, how you're doing, and that's at the time that you'll be scheduling your Eagle Hour tutor sessions if you need to go to tutor sessions or if you choose to go to tutor sessions. And then those will run on a two-week rotation. So at the end, uh, so you'll create your Eagle Hour plan for two weeks. And then on that Monday after two weeks, you'll meet with your advisor again to again discuss your grades. And if you'd like to change um, your location or whatever during Eagle Hour. Um, Talking about Eagle Hour requirements and the passes, um, first of all, Eagle Hour was created as a time during the day for you to be able to um, you know, do some of your schoolwork, to do extra schoolwork, to make up schoolwork, to go get help from teachers, to get involved in more clubs. Uh, it's no secret that everybody's very busy. We've got sports before and after school. Sometimes sports are going later or work after school. So we wanted to provide you this time, and, and it's a great chunk of time, almost 70 minutes every day, uh, or Tuesday through Friday, for you to get into classrooms. So we really encourage you to take advantage of it. Uh, you know, there's an opportunity for all of you, clubs and organizations will meet, and just even just spending extra time with teachers. Some students have asked me in the hallways, hey, can I just go and uh, hang out in so-and-so's class and, and as far as, as long as that teacher is okay with that then that's great if you just want to be spending more time with a particular teacher. Um, as far as the requirements go there will be some grade requirements um, around the Eagle Hour idea uh, considering what the privileges are going to be. Um, if you're maintaining all A, B's and C's and on that Monday, that first Monday in advisory, you will receive what's called a gold pass. And I don't have any to show you right now. If you were here last year when we did mock Eagle Hour, you'll know what those look like. Um, it's basically a pass that's about the same size as your ID. Uh, and the idea, the reason that it's created the same size as your ID is that um, then you can get one of these plastic covers to put your ID in and keep your gold pass with your ID. Uh, you will be get used to being asked for your gold pass during Eagle Hour um, if you are in the privileged areas because we will be asking to see that. Um, but every other Monday, you'll receive a gold pass if you have all A's, B's, and C's. And what that means is you have several options during Eagle Hour. You could attend club meetings. You could go do some work in the LMC if you had some work you needed to get done. You could meet a teacher about assignments, get help with assignments, make up tests, and then, of course, you'll have that time to eat lunch. So what you'll want to do if you're A, B's, and C students, you'll have a privilege pass, and I'll show you uh, really what that means in a minute. Um, but you will have, be able to choose where you want to go and what you want to do as far as Eagle Hour is concerned. Now, if you have one D or one F, or I'm sorry, Ds or just one F, 
then you're going to be working, your individual teachers will actually be assigning you go to tutor sessions for those classes that you're having trouble with. So if you have a D in math, for example, um, your math teacher will be assigning you to go to tutoring for that class. And if you're assigned to go to tutoring by a teacher, you're required to go. We will be taking attendance and we will be keeping very close track of attendance. So you're going to want to make sure that you make it there. Um, when you're not in a tutor session, so for example, if your math teacher has tutor during Eagle Hour A, you will go to that tutor during Eagle Hour A, and then when the bell rings in the middle, you'll leave and you'll be able to go to lunch for the second half of Eagle Hour, or vice versa. If your math teacher or your social studies teacher that you're assigned to go to tutor has a tutor second part of Eagle Hour, you'll go eat lunch first and then go to your tutor sessions. Now, if you have more than one F, um, that is when you're going to be meeting with me. Starting that week of September 16th, I will be pulling grades and I'll be looking at students that have two or more Fs. Uh, and the reason for that is, you know, we don't want anybody here, you know, struggling or getting behind. So it's just going to be a time that you can come in um, and you'll have a discussion with me, a short discussion, five minutes probably, just about what's going on in the classes what we can do to help you, what we can do, uh, maybe I can communicate with the teachers or, or whatever. Um, and then I will actually be assigning you to the different um, tutor sessions based on the court classes that you're struggling in. Um, so most of the time, if you have more than one F, you'll be in tutor sessions, uh, several tutor sessions throughout the week. And again, those will run on a two week rotation. So after two weeks, if you say you don't get a gold pass because you have a D or you have an F, after two weeks, if you've worked hard and you've brought those grades up to all A's, B's, and C's, then the following Monday when teachers do grade checks again or when your advisors do grade checks, then you can get the opportunity to get a gold pass and use Eagle Hour as you see fit. Um, if you haven't already received your school ID this week, um, you should be getting it sometime in the next few days. So one thing that we want to remind you also, as we are going to have the school open, there's a lot of students in this building, we do need you to have your ID visible at all times during Eagle Hour. And I know that some of you are groaning and this is a little bit different for some of you that have been in the building the last couple of years, but we have doubled the size of the building. We need to have students have your IDs visible during Eagle Hour as well as your gold pass. So if you're asked for your gold pass, you know, don't put it in your wallet or, you know, somewhere where you're going to have to stop and dig it out of your backpack or whatever. Have it so that you can just, it's somewhere on your body, on your backpack, and you can just flip it over and say, here it is. Um, so just really easily visible. What we suggest that you do is get one of these, um, uh, these plastic covers that again you can just stick your ID in and then if you have a gold pass you just pop the gold pass into the back. Um, that's the easiest way to keep them both protected and not to lose them. Um, you can get these, we have some in the front office that you can get, you can buy lanyards uh, in the spirit store, the spirit shop. Um, also, you know, girls, if you're looking for a trendier way to wear your ID, uh, there's been times that I've gone to Charming Charlie's and bought several chains and just used those as my chains for my ID. Um, but regardless, you need to figure out a way that's going to work for you, that you're going to have your ID on you at all times, especially during Eagle Hour, because we're going to be asking for it. Um, Locations during Eagle Hour, we talked about how Eagle Hour, if you have a gold pass, that that is considered a gold privilege pass. So the building will be divided into different areas. If you um, do not have a gold pass, if you have D's and F's, you don't have a gold pass, you're going to be in one of two places. You're either going to be um, in a tutor session with one of your teachers, or you're going to be in the cafeteria area eating your lunch. So um, each teacher, again, this might be hard to see, but each teacher will have these posted around the building. Um, but if you can see the yellow area here is basically the cafeteria area. That's going to be for students that don't have gold passes. You'll eat your lunch in the cafeteria and then when the bell rings, you'll go to tutor or you'll start off in tutor and when the bell rings, you'll come to the, um, come to the cafeteria area and eat your lunch. And you will need to stay in the cafeteria area for lunch. If you have a gold pass, you can eat lunch in the cafeteria or in designated privilege areas. And the pink areas along here are privilege areas. And basically the privilege areas are going to be all of Eagle Avenue, 
the LMC, as well as the Eagle's Nest. So those would be other places. There'll be tables set up there for you to be able to eat your lunch or study or, you know, have um, some times with your friends. And then I also have some areas that are green. And green are called the quiet zone areas. There will be teacher supervisors in those areas to make sure that they're, stayed, that they're clear um, during the Eagle hours. Because if you're, if you're in the hallways, you need to be in a classroom tutoring with one of your students. You should not be in the hallways. Um, or tutoring with one of your teachers, I'm sorry. And then we do have a couple of blackout areas, those back hallways upstairs and downstairs between the 100 and 300 and 800 and 900 um, will really be areas that we'll stay clear of during Eagle Hour. There's no real reason to be back there um, at this point. Um, just uh, again, some of the additional responsibilities that I want everybody to remember as we start Eagle Hour. Last week, you talked with your advisory teachers about our core values of reach. And so I thought about reach as far as our responsibilities and expectations go for Eagle Hour. Um, the first, the R in reach is respect. Just be respectful of the building and respectful of yourself, your peers, and staff in the building. Clean up after yourself. Uh, you are gonna have the opportunity to be in all different parts of the building, but there have been larger trash cans ordered to be able to place all over the building. Use the trash cans. Don't throw things on the floor. Again, just be respectful of the building. Um, be respectful of the staff, the staff that cleans up after Eagle Hour. Um, do your best to keep it as clean as possible. Um, and hold your friends and your classmates accountable. If you see your friends or your classmates throwing something on the ground or getting up and they're not going to pick up their tray, remind them. Because if it does end up, uh, we see that we're not being respectful during Eagle Hour, then we will have to stop Eagle Hour and go back to a regular lunch period. Um, high expectations, we always have high expectations. You should always have high expectations for yourself in anything you do. Um, again, we created this time for you as a staff um, and our staff, we have high expectations for each and every one of you. We expect you to use this time that we've given you wisely and learn how to organize yourself and make the most of this time. Um, we're all here to help you. You'll have time and advisory to be looking at the Eagle Hour schedule, thinking about what your needs are, whether you're struggling in a class or whether you're doing really well in a class. You can always use extra time with your teachers. Um, each classroom will have these, it's called plan your work and work your plan. And you can um, use this to help you organize, you know, with the different Eagle Hours and looking at the Eagle Hour schedule, which will be in each classroom, as well as the plan. And you can create your plan for the two weeks and start to organize yourself a little bit. Um, also accountability, uh, you know, come with Eagle Hour comes a certain amount of um, freedom but you'll still be held accountable for your actions. We expect you to hold yourself accountable for following the rules um, and getting to your assigned tutor sessions. As I said earlier, those tutor sessions will be, um, will be assigned. The ones that are assigned, if a teacher assigns you or if I assign you to go to a tutor session, you will be expected to show up. You will, attendance will be taken during, um, during the Eagle Hour tutor session. After, uh, during fifth hour, after Eagle Hour is over, I will pull that um, attendance and it will tell me during, right at that time who did not show up to a tutor session that they were assigned to. And if you don't show up to an assigned tutor session, consequences will follow. So during sixth hour, uh, if you skipped a tutor session, you can expect to receive a detention slip in your sixth hour class that same day. So the program that I have will just pull all of the students that didn't show up to their assigned tutor session. Detentions will be um, assigned and then the detention will be served the following day during lunch. The following day, if you did not show up to your tutor session, you'll be assigned the Eagle Hour lunch detention and you will be in lunch detention for the entire 70 minute Eagle Hour period. You'll be allowed to go get lunch. Uh, you'll, then you'll be going to the location that we have decided we're going to have the lunch detentions and you'll be there the entire hour. Um, and then the next day you can start back on your path of attending your tutor sessions. Um, if you're in a privileged area without a gold pass and it's not a passing period, you will also, um, you'll be asked first to go back to where you belong. If there's a further offenses then um, lunch detentions can happen for those as well. Also, if you lose a pass, um, you drop to a D, so you have to turn your, for example, you had A, Bs, and Cs this week, but uh, during the two-week period, you one class dropped to a D. 
then you will be asked to turn your gold pass back into your advisor because you'll no longer have the gold privilege pass since you have a D. Uh, you will be expected to have that pass and turn it back into your teacher. If you don't have it to turn into your teacher, um, then you will lose the privilege of having a gold pass for the rest of the semester. So be very respectful of those gold passes. Don't lose them. If you lose your gold pass, even if you have A's, B's, and C's, you'll no longer have the privilege pass for the semester. So you really need to take care of those and make sure that when your teacher asks you to turn it back in because your grades have gone down, that you have it to turn back in to your teacher. Um, Thinking, uh, again, in terms of our core values and community, be part of the LMH LNHS community by participating. Enjoy your time here. Take advantage of Eagle Hour. Go to the clubs. There's so many clubs offered during this time. Um, so things that you thought that you didn't have time to do, um, take advantage of it and try and go, um, and go and explore some of those clubs. And then honesty as well is our last core value. And uh, you're always expected to choose honesty. There are going to be Adults in the hallways, especially as we're learning about Eagle Hour as well, we're going to be asking everybody where you're going. You may have already noticed this even during lunch now, more adults in the hallways asking you where you're going. Um, just be respectful of those people. Answer the question. Tell us where you're going. If we ask to see your gold pass or your ID, um, you know, just be honest with us and, and show us what we're asking for. And uh, I think Eagle Hour is going to be a great opportunity for everyone. Um, again, Eagle Hour will begin the week of September 16th after the deployment of the uh, after your deployment of the computers. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please ask your advisory teachers. Uh, they're always welcome to email me with particular questions that you have. And I still have the Twitter feed. Last year, we did a uh, Twitter feed on questions about Eagle Hour. So that's hashtag Eagle Hour. Um, so just send me any questions, and I will be on that hashtag posting any questions that you might have about Eagle Hour. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy your time in advisory, getting to know those in your advisory classes and your advisors, and we'll start seeing you out in Eagle Hour on the week of September 16th. Thank you.